and welcome back to my channel. Last week, we have talked about sets, subsets, null sets, cardinality of sets, unions, intersections, and difference. Now, we are going to talk about problems involving sets, how we apply what we have learned last week to real-life situations. The Venn diagram is a principal way of showing sets diagrammatically. This method consists primarily of entering the elements of a set into a circle of circles. It can be used to solve word problems involving union and intersection of sets. In solving set operations using the Venn diagram, the following are the steps to be followed. Step 1. Determine what is given and what are being asked. Step 2. Illustrate using the Venn diagram. Step 3. Determine what operations to be used. Step 4. Use the operations. And step 5. Answer the questions being asked. Now let's try an example. For our first example, let A and B be two finite sets, such as the cardinality of set A is equal to 20, the cardinality of set B is equal to 28, and the cardinality of set A union B is equal to 36. Find the cardinality of set A intersect set B. For our first step, we have to determine what is given and what are being asked. And the given facts are the cardinality of set A equal to 20, the cardinality of set B equal to 28, the cardinality of set A union set B is equal to 36. And what is asked, find the cardinality of set A intersect set B. For our second step, we have to illustrate using the Venn diagram, if possible. Now, I recommend you guys to use the Venn diagram because this is the most comprehensive way for you to learn what is union, sets, and differences. Let's illustrate A for the first circle, B for the second circle, and A intersect B for the overlapping circle. Please click the subscribe button and bell button for notifications. Thank you. Now for our third step, we have to determine what operations to be used. Let's have the given facts and what is asked. Now if we put 20 for the first circle, that is A, and then 28 for the second circle, that is B. Then the cardinality of set A union set B is equal to 36. 20 and 28 adds up to 48 and not 36. Therefore, we cannot find A intersect B using this formula. We have to subtract A intersect B from 20 and A intersect B from 28. With our final formula, the cardinality of set A intersect set B is equal to the cardinality of set A plus the cardinality of set B minus the cardinality of set A union set B. Now let's apply the formula. Here are the given facts and the asked once again. Here is our formula. The cardinality of set A intersect set B is equal to the cardinality of set A plus the cardinality of set B minus the cardinality of set A union set B. Let us now substitute the terms. For the cardinality of set A, we have 20. The cardinality of set B, we have 28. And the cardinality of set A union B is equal to 36. Now we have the cardinality of set A intersect set B is equal to 20 plus 28 minus 36, which now gives us 48 minus 36. That is equal to 12. Now the cardinality of set A intersect set B is equal to 12. 
Now let's apply our solution to the Venn diagram to check if it is correct. Now we know that A intersect B is equal to 12. So we substitute 12, giving us 20 less 12 is equal to 8. 12, 28 less 12 is equal to 16. And 12 for A intersect B. Now let's remove all the relevant terms to finalize it. For A only, the answer is 8. For B only, the answer is 16. And for A intersect B, the answer is 12. If we add up all the numbers we can find in the Venn diagram, we can find the cardinality of set A union set B that is equal to 36. Let's have 8 plus 12 plus 16 is equal to 36. Therefore, by double checking our solution in our Venn diagram, we have found out that we found the right answer using the formula. Now for our last step, we have to answer the questions being asked. Let's have the given facts and the question asked. The question is, find the cardinality of set A intersect set B the answer is 12.